So I'm working up to uh, a deload week. It's gonna be uh, two sets of five at 5.45 today. Um, really not too bad. Um, and then just some light accessories. Tomorrow I normally have uh, a single on bench and deadlift, but that single is off the table for just the rest of this week. So just kind of starting things off. I got training from Eric um, next week that I'm very excited about. Headed for seven weeks of training, leading into some heavy triples, I believe, at around 90%, so that'll be exciting. Um, I'm really fired up about training. Kind of got a fire lit under my ass. I'm ready to get going.
So I was a little bit anxious heading into this workout. Um, I felt a little bit sore for the past few days. Recovery didn't feel that good. Um, and looking at it, I had like three by five at 545 on squats. Just, just a little heavy. I felt a little bit unprepared, but I came in and warm up started feeling great. So I was just really happy to be able to, uh, to do what it took today. Um, just kind of approach each set with a blank mind, feel out the rep, drive through, work hard, um, and I was rewarded. So um, it's just kind of a lesson going forward. And when I remember, um, I do 10 minutes of walking post-training along with some gratitude. Just reminding myself of three things that went well during the session. Uh, it's easy when things are going well, um, of course, but when things are more difficult, it's a good way to remind yourself um, that it's not all doom and gloom and you can kind of take out some of the good stuff and carry it forward. So it's that idea that brain is plastic, that neurons that fire together, wire together, and we want to be thinking about the positive stuff a little bit more often because it's very easy to get sucked into negative sometimes, especially for certain personalities. So um, I've got my 10 minutes of cardio now. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and talk to you soon. So, post-training review today, um, things I'm thankful for. I am thankful that uh, despite me being tempted, I actually ended up um, not using straps for deadlift. I just used my bare grip for all three sets, and I think that was a really big accomplishment. Um, it's, a, it's a tendency for me to want to use straps, and it was really nice for me to avoid that today. Second thing I'm thankful that I got through all my accessories that I was able to just buckle down and get through everything. And third, that the loads are actually moving pretty well. Um, things are going well so far, so I'm um, just kind of thankful that it's all clicking, that I'm working at the level that I should, and uh, yeah, going forward. Because I owe him one. It's a video. Okay, just act normal. Just like Alberto's doing. <laughs> that was really cool. It had a lot of art and a lot of like food trucks and cool food. Other than that, no. You get in middle class. You get in middle class. So there's some cool spots. Yeah, like 6 3 was really cool. That's not what I would have expected. Because I've always heard it's like Asheville. That's exactly what I've heard. And we get there and it's just like slums and slums and slums. And then